last they are gone. What is this mysterious fascination I seem to exercise over everyone I come across? A curse on my fatal beauty, for I am sick of conquests. Archibald! Patience. I have escaped with difficulty from my Reginald. I wanted to see you so much that I might ask you if you still love me as fondly as ever. Love you? If the devotion of a lifetime does tell Hold. you... Unhand me or I scream. If you are a gentleman, pray remember that I am another's. But you do love me, don't you? Madly, hopelessly, despairingly. That's right. I can never be yours, but that's right. And you love this bunthorn. With a heart hole ecstasy that withers and scorches and, and burns and stings. It is my duty. Admirable girl, but you're not happy with him. Happy? I am miserable beyond description. That's right. I can never be yours, but that's right. Let go now. I see dear Reginald approaching. Farewell, dear Archibald. I cannot tell you how happy it has made me to know that you still love me. If I only dared... Never, this language to one who is promised to another. Oh, Archibald, think of me sometimes, for my heart is breaking. He is so unkind to me, and you would be so loving. Loving? Advance one step, and as I am a good and pure woman, I scream. Farewell, Archibald. Stop there. Think of me sometimes. Advance at your peril. Once more, adieu. <laughs> crying, eh? What are you crying about? I'm only thinking about how dearly I love you. <laughs> love me, bah. Love him? Ah, don't you interfere. He always crushes me. What is the matter, dear Reginald? Um, if you have any sorrow, tell it to me that I may share it with you. It is my duty. With whom were you talking just now? With dear Archibald. With dear Archibald? Upon my honor, this is too much. A great deal too much. Do be quiet. Crushed again. I think he is the noblest, purest, and most perfect being I have ever met, but I don't love him. It is it is true that he is devotedly attached to me, but I don't love him. Whenever he grows affectionate, I scream. It is it is my duty. I dare say. So do I. I dare say. What? How could I love him and love you too? You can't love two people at once. <laughs> oh, can't you though? No, you can't. I only wish you could. I don't believe you know what love is. Yes, I, I do. There was a happy time when I didn't, but a bitter experience has taught me. Love is a plaintive song, sung by a suffering maid, telling a tale of wrong, telling of hope betrayed.
everything has gone wrong with me since that smug faced idiot came here. Before that, I was admired. I may say loved. Too mild. Adored. Do let a poet soliloquize. The damosels used to follow me wherever I went. Now they all follow him. Not all. I am still faithful to you. Yes, and a pretty damosel you are. No, not pretty. Mature. Cheer up. I will never leave you, I swear it. Oh, thank you. I know what it is. It's his confounded mildness. They find me too highly spiced, if you please. And no doubt I am highly spiced. Not for my taste. No, but I am for theirs. But I will show the world I can be as mild as he. If they want insipidity, they shall have it. I'll meet this fellow on his own ground and beat him on it. You shall, and I will help you. You will. Jane, there's a good deal of good in you after all. <laughs> So go to him and say to him with compliment ironical. Think bad, you ha ha, and that's what I shall say. Your style is much too sanctified, your cut is too canonical. Think bad, you ha ha, to you, and that's what I shall say. I was the beau ideal of the morbid young aesthetical. To doubt my inspiration was regarded as heretical until you cut me out with your placidity and medical. Sing boo. Poo poo to you, and that's what I shall say. Sing boo to you, poo poo to you, and that's what I shall say. Sing boo hey. to you, good day to you, sing boo hey. to you, a ha to you, sing boo to you, good boo to you, good day to you, you should say. Sing boo to you, good day to you, sing boo to you, a ha to you, sing boo to you, and, and that's what you should say. Boo, boo, and that's what I shall say. I'll tell him that unless he will consent to be more jocular. Sing boo to you, poo poo to you, and that's what you should say. To cut his curly hair and stick an eyeglass in his ocular. Sing boo to you, ha ha to you, and that's what you should say. To stop his conversation full of quibble and of quiddity. To dine on chops and roly poly pudding with avidity. He'd better clear away with all convenient. Rapidity. Sing hey to you, good day to you, and that's what you should say. Sing boo to you, poo poo to you, and that's what I shall say. Sing hey to you, good day to you, sing good day. Ha ha to you, sing boo to you, poo poo to you, that's what you should say. Sing hey to you, good day to you, sing boo to you, ha ha to you, sing boo to you, and that's what you should say. I shall say ba boo ba boo and that's what I shall say. That what 
we recollect. The what of hot of true or not will have its due effect. Yes, it's quite clear that our only chance of making a lasting impression on these young ladies is to become as, uh, as aesthetic as they are. <laughs> no doubt. The only question is how far we've succeeded in doing so. I, I don't know why, but I have a feeling that this is not quite right. I don't like it. I never did. I don't understand what it means. I do it, but I don't like it. Oh, my good friend, the question is not whether we like it, but whether they do. Uh, they understand these things. We don't. Now, I shouldn't be surprised if this is effective enough at a distance. I can't help thinking we're a little stiff at it. <laughs> it would be extremely awkward if we were to be struck so. Oh, uh, I don't think we'll be struck so. Perhaps we're a little awkward at first, but everything must have a beginning. No, oh, here they come. <clears throat> Tension. Uh. Oh, Zephyr, see, see, the immortal fire has descended on them, and they are of the inner brotherhood, perceptively intense and consummately utter. Oh, what a challenge, how fra angelic and oh, art, we thank you for thy boon. I'm afraid we're not quite right. And not supremely, perhaps, but oh, so all but. Oh, Zephyr, are they not quite too all but? They are indeed jolly utter. I wonder what the inner brotherhood recommend for a cramp. <sighs> Ladies, we will not deceive you. We are doing this at some personal inconvenience, with a view of expressing the extremity of our devotion to you. We trust that it is not without its uh, effect. Hmm? We will not deny that we are much moved by this proof of your attachment. Yes, your conversion to the principles of the aesthetic art has touched us deeply. And if Mr. Grosvenor should remain obdurate... Which we have every reason to believe that he will... Oh, I wish they'd make haste. We are not prepared to say that our yearning hearts will not go out to you. Oh, by section three is uh, <laughs> rapture. That was very good. For beginners, it's admirable. The only question is, uh, who will take who? <laughs> oh, the Duke chooses first, as a matter of course. Oh, I couldn't think of it. You really are too good. Oh, nothing of the kind. You're a great matrimonial fish, and it's only fair that each of these ladies should have a chance of hooking you. If Saphir I choose to marry, I shall be fixed up for life. Then the colonel need not tarry, Angela can be his wife. In that case unprecedented, single I shall live and die. I shall have to be contented with a heart of sympathy. He will have to be contented with a heart of sympathy. In that case, unprecedented single, I shall live and die. He will have to be contented with a heart that sympathizes. He will have to be contented with a heart that sympathizes. He will have to be contented with a heart that sympathizes. If 
Chevron and G, I determine at my wedding she'll appear decked in diamond and ermine. Major then can take some. In that case, unprecedented single, I shall live and die. I shall have to be contented with their heart that sympathize. He will have to be contented with a heart that sympathize. In that case, unprecedented single, he will live and die. He will have to be contented with a heart that sympathize. He will have to be contented with a heart that sympathize. He will have to be contented with a heart that After some debate internal, if on neither I decide, Safia then may take the colonel and ye be the major's bride. In that case, unprecedented single, I must live and die. I shall have to be contented with your heartfelt sympathy. He will have to be contented with your heartfelt sympathy. In that case, unprecedented single, I shall live and die. I shall have to be contented with a heartfelt sympathy. I shall have to be contented with a heartfelt sympathy. I shall have to be contented with a heartfelt link in the show notes below and make a donation to the Durham Savoyards to help us cover our expenses during this difficult time. Thanks. Oh,